Anger is a universal human experience. It's an emotion we've all felt at one time or another, triggered by situations that challenge our patience, values, or sense of control. But what separates those who succumb to anger's destructive force from those who harness it as a tool for growth and change? The answer lies in understanding and mastering the art of anger management. Anger is a primal emotion deeply rooted in our evolutionary history. When we perceive a threat or injustice, our brain's amygdala, the seat of our emotional responses, can trigger a cascade of psychological changes preparing us for fight or flight. But what exactly causes anger? It can stem from a variety of sources, frustration, perceived injustices, unmet needs, or even fear. Sometimes it's a reaction to external events, while other times it arises from internal conflicts or unresolved issues. Think about the last time you felt angry. What triggered that emotion? Understanding our triggers is crucial because it allows us to address the underlying causes of our anger rather than merely reacting to the surface. It's also important to recognize that not all anger is inherently negative. In fact, anger can serve as a signal that something in our lives needs attention. A boundary has been crossed, a value has been violated, or an unmet need requires addressing. However, when anger is not managed effectively, it can wreak havoc on our lives and relationships. That's why learning to recognize and regulate our anger is crucial for our well-being and the well-being of those around us. Anger can manifest in a myriad of ways, physically, emotionally, and behaviorally. By learning to recognize these signs, we gain valuable insight into our emotional landscape and can take proactive steps to manage our anger effectively. Physically, anger often triggers a cascade of psychological responses. You might notice your heart racing, your muscles tensing, or your breathing becoming rapid and shallow. Emotionally, anger can manifest as a range of intense feelings, from annoyance and frustration to outright rage. These emotions can color our perception of the world around us and influence our interactions with others. Behaviorally, anger may prompt us to act impulsively or aggressively, often leading to regrettable consequences. It's essential to pay attention to how we express our anger and the impact it has on ourselves and those around us. Recognizing these signs requires self-awareness and mindfulness. By tuning into our thoughts, feelings, and physical sensations, we can catch anger in its early stages and intervene before it escalates out of control. Now that we've explored the roots of anger and how to recognize its signs, it's time to delve into practical strategies for managing this powerful emotion. Deep breathing is a cornerstone of many relaxation and stress reduction techniques. By focusing on our breath, we can activate the body's natural relaxation response, helping to calm the mind and soothe the nervous system. Find a comfortable sitting or lying position, with your feet flat on the floor and your hands resting gently on your lap. Close your eyes if it feels comfortable, and take a slow, deep breath in through your nose, filling your lungs with air. Feel your abdomen expand as you breathe in. Exhale slowly and evenly through your mouth, letting go of any tension or stress with each breath out. Continue this rhythmic breathing pattern, focusing on the sensation of the breath entering and leaving your body. If your mind starts to wander, gently bring your attention back to your breath. Deep breathing can be done anytime, anywhere, making it a valuable tool for managing anger in the heat of the moment. Whether you are stuck in traffic, facing a challenging situation at work, or navigating a tense conversation, Taking a few moments to breathe deeply can help restore a sense of calm and perspective. Let's talk about the transformative power of mindfulness. This practice, rooted in ancient wisdom, offers profound tools for cultivating present moment awareness and emotional balance, key ingredients in managing anger effectively. At its core, mindfulness invites us to bring our full attention to the present moment, without judgment or attachment. By tuning into our thoughts, feelings, and sensations with curiosity and compassion, we can gain insight into the underlying causes of our anger and respond with greater clarity and wisdom. Mindfulness practices like meditation can be powerful antidotes to anger, helping us cultivate inner calm and resilience in the face of life's challenges. By bringing awareness to our thoughts and emotions as they rise, we can respond to them with greater skill and compassion, rather than reacting impulsively out of anger. As we continue our exploration of anger management strategies, we turn our focus to cognitive restructuring, a technique that empowers us to challenge and change the way we think about and interpret the events that trigger our anger. 
Our thoughts play a powerful role in shaping our emotions and behavior. When we perceive a situation as threatening or unjust, our mind can quickly spiral into a cycle of negative thinking, fueling feelings of anger and frustration. Let's say you're stuck in traffic, running late for an important meeting. Your initial reaction might be one of frustration and irritation, thinking, this traffic is unbearable, why does this always happen to me? Cognitive restructuring invites us to challenge these automatic negative thoughts and replace them with more balanced and realistic perspectives. By reframing our thinking, we can reduce the intensity of our emotional reactions and respond to challenging situations with greater clarity and composure. Let's reframe that initial thought about the traffic. Instead of focusing on the negative aspects, try to find a more balanced perspective. Perhaps you could think, traffic is frustrating, but getting angry won't make it go any faster. I can use this time to listen to a podcast or practice deep breathing. Like any skill, cognitive restructuring takes practice. It requires us to challenge our ingrained thought patterns and adopt a more flexible and adaptive mindset. With time and patience, we can rewire our brain to respond to anger triggers in healthier and more constructive ways. We now turn our attention to the crucial role that communication plays in how we express and manage our anger. Effective communication is key to resolving conflicts, expressing our needs and feelings assertively, and maintaining healthy relationships. When it comes to managing anger, learning how to communicate constructively can make all the difference in how we navigate challenging situations. Assertive communication involves expressing our thoughts, feelings, and needs in a clear, honest, and respectful manner, while also respecting the rights and boundaries of others. It allows us to assert ourselves without aggression or hostility, fostering mutual understanding and cooperation. Let's say you're feeling frustrated with a colleague who keeps interrupting you during meetings. Instead of exploding in anger or shutting down, you could assertively express your feelings and needs by saying something like this. I feel frustrated when I'm interrupted because I value having the opportunity to contribute. Could we find a way to ensure everyone has a chance to speak? Active listening is also essential in managing anger. It involves giving our full attention to the speaker without interrupting or judging and reflecting back what we've heard to ensure understanding. By practicing active listening, we can diffuse conflicts, build trust, and foster empathy and connection. Imagine you're in a conversation with a friend who's expressing frustration about a recent disagreement with their partner. Instead of offering advice or jumping in with your own experiences, simply listen attentively, nodding and providing verbal cues to show you're engaged. Like any skill, communication requires practice and patience. By honoring our ability to communicate assertively and listen actively, we can navigate conflicts more effectively, expressing our needs and feelings more authentically, and building stronger, more fulfilling relationships. Let's talk about stress management. Stress is a common trigger for anger, often amplifying our emotional responses and making it harder to maintain control. By learning how to effectively manage stress, we can reduce the likelihood of anger taking hold and respond to challenging situations with greater calm and clarity. One powerful stress management technique is engaging in regular physical activity. Exercise has been shown to reduce levels of stress hormones in the body, promote feelings of well-being, and provide a healthy outlet for pent-up emotions. Whether it's going for a run, practicing yoga, or taking a brisk walk out in nature, finding ways to incorporate movement into your daily routine can help you better cope with stress and diffuse feelings of anger. Another effective stress management strategy is practicing relaxation techniques such as deep breathing exercises, progressive muscle relaxation, or guided imagery. These techniques help activate the body's relaxation response, counteracting the psychological effects of stress and promoting a sense of calm and relaxation. Self-care is not selfish. It's essential for maintaining your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. By prioritizing activities that nourish and rejuvenate you, you can build resilience to stress and cultivate a greater sense of inner peace. If you're still watching this video, write the word self-care in the comments section to let me know you've been listening this far. Implementing anger management techniques requires commitment, consistency, and a willingness to embrace change. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you integrate these strategies into your daily life. Number 1. Self-awareness Start by paying attention to your thoughts, feelings, and physical sensations throughout the day. Notice when anger arises and what triggers it. Keeping a journal can be helpful in identifying patterns and gaining insight into your triggers. Number 2. 
choose your response. When faced with a situation that triggers anger, pause and take a deep breath before reacting. Remember that you have a choice in how you respond. Consider which anger management technique might be most effective in that moment. Whether it's deep breathing to calm yourself down, cognitive restructuring to challenge negative thoughts, or assertive communication to express your needs. Number 3. Practice regularly. Set aside time each day to practice anger management techniques, such as mindfulness meditation, deep breathing exercises, or progressive muscle relaxation. The more you practice, the more natural these techniques will come, making it easier to employ them when you need them the most. Number 4. Seek support. Don't be afraid to reach out for support if you're struggling to manage your anger on your own. This could involve talking to a trusted friend or family member, seeking guidance from a therapist or counselor, or joining a support group for anger management. Managing anger is a journey, not a destination. It takes time and effort to develop new habits and ways of thinking. Be patient with yourself and celebrate your progress no matter how small. By incorporating these anger management techniques into your daily life, you can cultivate greater self-awareness, resilience, and emotional balance. With practice and determination, you have the power to transform your relationship with anger and live a more peaceful and fulfilling life. Anger is a natural and unavoidable part of the human experience, but how we choose to respond to it, whether we let it control us or we harness its energy for positive change, is entirely within our control. Mastering anger is not about suppressing or denying our emotions, but rather understanding them, embracing them, and learning to respond to them in healthier ways. It's about cultivating self-awareness, emotional resilience, and compassion, both for ourselves and others. Celebrate your success, learn from your setbacks, and never underestimate the power of small steps and consistent effort. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on personal development and mental health. Until next time, take care of yourself, be kind to others, and remember that you are capable of overcoming any challenge that comes your way. Become you.